We're all watching it happen. Some of us are trying to make it stop. Whose side are you guys on? Thank you. Hi, y'all. I'm up. Hi, my name is Patty Beers. I'm a journalist. Woo! I'm a real journalist. I'm not the kind of journalist who go out for a break and don't come back. Oh, please address the council. I'm going to address everyone here, okay? Because everyone here needs to hear what I have to say. But you can if you address the council. It is on a speaker system. You know what? The whole entire council can hear me no matter what way my head is turned. It doesn't matter. You can hear me. I can speak loud and clear. Yeah. I'm a journalist. On Saturday, I came. There are five other, at least five other journalists, and I mean real journalists, people who come and they film unedited where the world can sit and watch live while it's happening. Five of us, at least, maybe more people that I don't know of, are doing live broadcasts on Saturday. Sorry guys, my hands are shaking. I'm really excited. I saw and the world, thousands of people around the world saw watching on their computers and their smartphones. They saw Fullerton police on Saturday targeting real journalists who are telling the truth. Not the kind of journalists who stand in the back of the room with their really big cameras and call the cops and say from their offices, hey, what happened? And expect the cops are going to tell them the truth because we all know. Everybody in this room knows that they lie. Yeah. Yeah. The only way to know the truth is to see it with your eyes. The, the truth that you see with your eyes is the only truth that you can see. And on Saturday, January 18, 2014, Fullerton Police Department targeted real journalists, real people doing real live streams. I was in jail. I went to jail. I was in the paddy wagon with Adam. Adam, the guy in the nice white shirt who told you that we were threatened that there would be 12 sheriffs waiting for us. I don't remember the exact words, but it was something, something meant to be very intimidating. They wanted to make us scared. They tried really, really hard to make them scared. But I made it clear to them that if any one of them, if anybody touched any of us, if anyone, any of them hurt us, that there would be thousands of people around the world who would know. That's what real journalists do. They tell the truth. <clears throat> so there's something else I want to tell you about mainstream media. Those people with those big, heavy cameras. There are at least three of us real journalists who were assaulted by those people with the big cameras. There was, I accidentally stepped into man's view and he grabbed me by the shoulder and pushed me away. There was another young woman. She was pushed by CBS woman with a big camera on her shoulder. Yeah, there's tons and tons of video of that, of this young 19-year-old girl pushed by CBS. Please wrap up. Okay, I have one more thing that I need to cover. So a lot of people came up here and they talked about that there was some, some spray painting and, and things like that. And while I don't agree with that, I understand the outrage that, they, of that <coughs> these young people had when they, they spray painted. But I also want to clarify that there is a difference between property damage and violence. Violence is not spray paint. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, ladies and gentlemen.